of the war in Ukraine, with Russia saying a truck bomb caused the partial bridge collapse. ABC's Britt Clinton is on the ground in Ukraine with the latest. Good morning to you, Britt. Good morning, Eva. Yeah, Ukraine hasn't directly claimed responsibility for the attack, but an advisor to President Zelensky called it a beginning, saying everything illegal must be destroyed. This morning, a massive explosion crippling Russia's only bridge to annexed Crimea. Videos circulating online showing parts of it engulfed in flames. The bridge, a critical supply line for Russian troops. Russian authorities saying a truck bomb caused seven railway cars to catch fire and caused part of the bridge to collapse. And overnight, Russian missile strikes in Kharkiv, sending plumes of smoke into the air. Rescuers frantically searching through rubble for survivors. The blast coming as Ukraine breaks through Russian lines in the south and east. Ukrainian President Zelensky claiming 300 square miles of Russian-occupied territory have been retaken this week alone. Grim discoveries in those liberated towns. Mass burial sites, hundreds of graves. Police saying one site containing nearly 200 bodies, including children. And as Russia's losses mount, the Kremlin stepping up aerial attacks on civilians. This satellite image showing the attacks on the city of Zaporizhia, less than 50 miles from Europe's largest nuclear power plant, which also came under shelling overnight, depowering the plant. The UN's nuclear watchdog in Kyiv this week ahead of talks with Moscow to try to set up a security zone around the Russian-controlled plant. We are continuing saying what needs to be done, which is basically avoid a nuclear accident at the plant, which is still a very, very clear possibility. And as nuclear fears escalate, President Biden warning of the risk of nuclear war. At a New York City fundraiser, the president saying, quote, we have not faced the prospect of Armageddon since Kennedy and the Cuban Missile Crisis. The White House walking back on those remarks, later clarifying, saying there's no evidence Russian President Vladimir Putin is planning to use nuclear weapons imminently. And this morning, Moscow saying they're investigating that Crimea bridge explosion. One Russian senator saying there should be an adequate and possibly asymmetric response to the attack. Eva? Brett Clement for us there.